Guys, guys, welcome back. I, I can't find a comfortable position. Welcome back. You got it right this time. Um, first of all, my hair's down, and that means and that means I need a haircut, and that means I'm not gonna get a haircut for another three months, and that's just the truth. Episode 13, though, guys, we took a week off. Sorry about that. I had life. Life happens. I had a child, and he's a beautiful baby boy. Just kidding, I had a job. Um, but, um, just a quick shout out, you know, episode 11, we just passed 200 views, which is so freaking cool. Like, I, oh my, oh, it feels so much better. I feel good. Was yes. that worth it? It was worth it. Alright, man. Well, cool, man. <laughs> I was expecting that one, too. Oh my gosh, it's energy. Anyway, so as a youth pastor. <sighs> forgive me? Never mind. Yeah, we're good. We're as cool. a youth pastor and as a, like a future. future youth pastor, we, uh, we like to uh, get caught up or uh, constantly learn new things of wisdom. Mm. So, um, we got mm. a new segment for you guys this mm. week. It's called PPWWW. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pastors, Pat's, Wise Words of Wisdom. Mm. An onion a day will keep a man stout. Did you know that? Mmm. It's so good, and it's good for you. That was... That was, like, deep, man. Philosophical. You're crying? We just reached a whole new level of spirituality. Spirituality. That's not a word. <laughs> it is Spir now. Spirituality? It is now. Well, cool. That's really cool. After those like words of wisdom. wisdom. He's just making up new words. Like, that's <laughs> awesome. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's continue, though. Um, Sam, Sam right? he's this is his last chance, but like we have an interview with uh, we set him up with an interview with uh, the frontman for Switchfoot. So here's Sam, our man on the shed, with an exclusive interview with John Foreman. Sam. Hey, it's Sam, your man on a shed, but now in a shower in a bathroom. Hey, Sam. Do you, do you actually have John Foreman there? Uh, well, n n no. No? No. Sam, we're gonna, we're gonna have to let you go. You're fired. Yeah, makes sense. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, well that was a huge waste of time. Thank you, Sam. Oh my gosh. Um, but you know, me and you, you and I, and just you, really. You're you're still kind of new. We're still kind of getting to know each other. Um, mm -hmm. And something people may or may not know is that like you're a real like outdoorsy guy. I am. I love to hunt. I love to fish. I love just to sleep in the grass. Sleeping in the grass. Now I want to talk to you about sleeping in the grass for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um. Do you get like skin? Does your skin get irritated at all? No. What you do is you do it so much your skin becomes so calloused. <laughs> This is awkward. <laughs> well, actually, anyway. I actually meant to talk to you about fishing. I actually, okay. earlier today, I caught up with, with you on a little, one of your fishing outings. Yes. And uh, we, we kind of filmed it, and uh, let's, let's take a look. Hey man, how's it going? Good. How are you today? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, did you catch anything? Uh, I think about ten so far. You, seriously? That's awesome. Where Where are they? They're in the water. I threw them back. Why would you do that? I'm not fishing for fish. Okay, well, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you might have to explain yourself. I'm confused. Um, Blake, I'm fishing for men. Yeah. Matthew 4.19 says, If you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. So, uh, 
That's what I'm doing. I just think that maybe Jesus wasn't being literal when he said that. Uh, so if he wasn't literal then, you're telling me he literally didn't rise from the dead? Okay, that's kind of a different situation. I'm just saying that maybe he was just being figurative, you know? He was talking to a bunch of fishermen, telling them to follow him. You know? So just a random thought. And I still think you're crazy, but if you're fishing for fish, wouldn't you actually want to be menning for men? Why don't you literally leave? Okay, well, uh, good luck on your, your venture, your yeah. adventure, man. See you later, man. Go figuratively something. You actually caught a human being. Like, that is. That's amazing. <laughs> well, why would I lie to you? I get it done. I get work. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. You guys are done. Uh, thank you to Pastor Pat. Done. Thank you to Sam, even though he sucks at being an interviewer. And thank you to us. Make sure you come back for episode 14, subscribe, keep watching. That's not yet, we don't oh, do it yet. Sorry. Bye guys. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs> Where's the net? <laughs>